And have you ever wondered why a highly anticipated event doesn't always lead to skyrocketing prices? Picture this. Ethereum, with all the buzz surrounding its recent ETF launch, found itself at a crossroads. In the first few days, excitement surged, fueling a trading volume of over $1.1 billion. Investors were eager, evidenced by a remarkable $106 million net inflow. Major players like 5% of the influence, but I have a 560 and all odds starting to live. One has a buyable, writing at money, as BlackRock Million Dollars Buyable Sexual List, and the person unexpected selling pressures. What happened next? You know, a classic case of buy the rumor, sell the news. Uh, speculators likely cashed in their Ethereum holdings while the hype was still fresh, uh, seeking profits from their early investments. The result, a significant shift in market dynamics that left many scratching their heads. Um, and this shift was compounded by another factor, the lack of new retail investors entering the market. While institutional inflows generate excitement, they can't uphold a bullish market on their own. A symbiotic relationship between institutional and retail investors is essential for sustained growth. Reflecting on Bitcoin's past, the cryptocurrency had faced similar challenges before it soared to nearly $70,000. Many speculate that Ethereum could follow suit if the right market conditions arise. However, the key belief remains, market liquidity must be robust enough to absorb the ongoing selling pressure. As the cryptocurrency landscape evolves, one question lingers, why did the Ethereum chicken cross the road to prove it wasn't a stock? Uh, with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time,